and welcome back to Lampis. In this video today, as you can see, we are in a different environment. We are in Rome, in the heart of Rome, and we are going to share with you the biggest don'ts or mistakes, things you shouldn't do if you are dining with Italians. And you guys, I've done a whole lot of crazy things <laughs> that I don't think they're crazy, but Ali thought they are crazy. And for this video, I'm not with Ali today, but I'm with an Italian lady. Elisa from Rome Inside. Yes, we are doing this video with Elisa. Elisa is a beautiful channel about Rome, Rome Inside. I will leave the link up here and also in the description below if you want to visit Rome and you want to know everything considering restaurants, where to dine, oh, where to go for an aperitivo, where to go for food, tours, anything you, you like to know about Rome, check out Rome Inside. Yes. And before we get to the video, Bubuccino is right behind the camera, he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I replaced him. Yes, today. yes, but he's, he's still here with me. So, let's get into this. Salute. Cheers. <laughs> so, first thing, first thing that I have learned not to do do not order cappuccino after lunch. I feel like this is a big one. This is something that everyone likes to do because I don't know if I'm wrong, but some people feel like cappuccino is almost like a snack, a treat. So you have it in the afternoon because it's sweet and it, it looks like a snack. But no, it's breakfast. Uh, only breakfast. Yep. Only. So for me, I just, I know that in Italy, you, that's where you get the most amazing cappuccino. So when I'm here in the morning, cappuccino, when I go in the afternoon, cappuccino, after dinner, what you like? Cappuccino. And I'm I know, like, I know. And I got that because it's good. And you obviously, it's like a, a dessert for some people because it's very rich and you have like the foam on top. And yeah, but it, it's it's really just something that we use for breakfast. It's a don't. And also because I've seen one time I did that in an actual, like in an Italian bar. Mm -hmm. And this lady looked at me like I, I had to, I had to change what I ordered. I say, okay, okay, cafe. Or, never mind, never yeah, mind. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> So the lady looked at me really strange. Ale usually doesn't mind when it's just the two of us, but there was also another Italian guy, uh -huh. and I think was looking at Ale like, you let your wife do what a cappuccino in the evening? No, so I was like, okay, no. Something Bye. else, please? Yes. Yeah. So guys, cappuccino, I know, breakfast I know. only. You should, only. I mean, you won't, you won't find really any, very few do that, but you won't find any Italians at a bar with a cappuccino in the afternoon, yeah. so no. Nah, another thing. They are, they are just some standard Italian food that everybody, they are not even Italian, but everybody else outside Italy think they are Italian meals or food. Spaghetti with meatballs. <laughs> there comes then the, what is it? Spaghetti with meatballs. Then there's the pasta with chicken. Pasta Alfredo. Yes. Chicken Alfredo? Yes, I've seen chicken yes. Alfredo, like pasta guys. with a little bit of mayo. No. Yeah, I know it's like mayo, mayo mixed with pasta, pasta and, uh, um, and and cream. Yeah. And mm. then okay, it's mm. like I'm shivering. Rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> pasta. Uh, it's not, no. No. And then no. there's also another dish. Ooh, pizza Hawaii. What is pizza Hawaii? This is the pizza with the pineapple. Oh, oh, that's a huge yeah, one. I that's a huge that, I didn't know about that. And one time I was talking to Ali about my favorite pizza, like pizza Hawaii, like. No, no, what? pizza classical. Pizza, <laughs> tomato and buffalo or so yeah. much, yeah. Yeah. Buffalo, something like but that. Tell me, uh, what was your favorite pizza in Namibia? Um, <laughs> this is scared. I hope there's no Italian <laughs> watching this because, you know, we have also pizza is, we, we say it's an Italian thing and mm -hmm. stuff. They call them pizza, it's not pizza. But oh, right, right, right. How did you hear? All these pizza that you find in most of the countries are not really Italian pizza. So That's Pizza true. Hawaii is one of those. Pizza okay. with pineapples. Okay. Any which pizza you big. find in Namibia, which is like pizza with spare ribs on top. With what? Spare ribs. You know, like the, the ribs of the pork? Oh, Just on top of On that. top of the pizza. Or beef jerky on top of the pizza. No, okay, I'm sorry. I'm so <laughs> proud you did that. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, you're, it's fine. You're, you're reacting I'm, strange, no. and you're not I'm even. I'm sorry. I'm, no, no, no. I'm sorry. It's like I'm used to that now. I'm used to anything on top of so, the pizza. I, I never heard of that specific thing, but it's fine. It's fine. So, guys, and, and you had it, and it's good. 
I mean, before I moved, before I met Ali and I came to Italy, this is the only pizza I know. So I thought, oh, I, I'm eating, I've been eating my most amazing Italian yeah, pizza. Yeah, that's Italian <laughs> food, right? Yes. No, right. so guys, no. don't order pasta with meatballs, spaghetti with meatballs. No. We don't have it. No. If you ask the waiter, can I have spaghetti meatball? They'll just go, uh. <laughs> They'll probably think you're on what? drugs, like. <laughs> No, they'll think you're American or like not Italian. Yeah, but they, or they might also say go to Termini, maybe at the fast food. Because honestly, <laughs> we, are not, we are not here to put pineapple on the pizza. They're just mm, like, uh, uh, mm. Mm. No, So no. don't, don't. Mm. These are not even Italian dishes. No. 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 Do you actually know the origin of spaghetti mico? Yeah, we know the story of the way people going to work and they wanted something fast. But like I think it was in Italian America. Oh, it was like Prima Segundo together, so they had it in the same container. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think this way, Italians living in America or something. Yeah. In yes. like the 40s, yeah, 50s, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, ah, but then okay. became really a like a signature dish in a Little Italy in New York, and then they everybody know thinks that spaghetti yeah. meatballs is originated Italian from. Dish. Yeah, no, also like no. pasta Alfredo. Has a I pasta story. Alfredo. I mean, I like a lot of things, but pasta that is no pasta. Now that I know my mother-in-law's pasta, I'm sorry, this pasta <laughs> thing. No, no, no. No, no. I, I'm just saying. I know. And no mayo. No mayo. Like you can put almost everything on pasta, but not mayo. It's like no, Ooh, no. You can put mayo on French fries on. Hamburgers, not pasta. Do you put my pasta? Not anymore. You used to. Did you used to? <laughs> ketchup. <laughs> ketchup. Ketchup and mayo together is a good mixture on the pasta. For French it's fries. Not. And capanna spice. On I don't want that. to hear. <laughs> that you should, shouldn't do. Or that, yes, you shouldn't do this. When you order pasta, especially spaghetti in Italy, there is a way to eat it and eat it the right way. <laughs> Respect your Italian friends or family. <laughs> Now, don't order spaghetti and cut it in small pieces. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, well, I feel like I've said that once in my videos, and people are like, "Oh, if I cannot eat spaghetti, then like the order waiter, short I'll pasta. do that. I'll just no, yeah. I'll just cut it because I want spaghetti. No, just, no, but like, I don't want spaghetti. I mean, if you are in the restaurant, you pay, and I think they are going to close an eye. But if you are invited by, uh, by an Italian family, family or friend and, uh, and, and they order they you the most amazing that, yeah. Carola Nara, just going to take yeah. your plate to it, may get, it may get weird, it may get weird yeah, yeah, yes, yes. what are you doing, why are you Cause we sometimes do that for small kids so to help them obviously it's the Lame. spaghetti so we sometimes cut the spaghetti for them for yeah, kids, kids but, but no, no adults we, we don't do that. now for me I know that the cutting Yes, the cutting is one of before I met Ali I had two options. Either yeah. I cut the spaghetti before I add the sauce to it mm -hmm. or I just chop it already into short rice form before I cook it. Before you cook it? And before I would only buy spaghetti as a way that I didn't find short pasta in the shop. That's the only reason. Hmm. Otherwise, no, short pasta. And so when we had our wedding we also said I, I told Ali we have sure. you know non Italian guests, Namibian, German, yeah. from other please. Short of course, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, don't guys, problem. <laughs> don't cut your spaghetti. I'm thinking if, if, we, if your mother put carbonara and just see me cutting, I think he's going to say, Ali, take this person out of here. Because <laughs> no, I feel like no, you no. you almost change the flavor to the pasta if you cut it instead of like yeah. rolling it. No? You, you almost did. Yeah. Why do we have different shapes of pasta? Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, I know it goes with the sauce. Yeah, and the, the the right pasta also have to go with certain sauce. I know. So, yeah. we cannot we're, make. Uh, we're annoying. I know. <laughs> so guys, don't don't cut spaghetti. If you if you know already that you don't know how to eat spaghetti and you go out with your Italian friends, just order pasta that is short like gnocchi or something else and be yeah. respectful. Yeah. No cutting pasta. <laughs> Okay. You made it to an Italian restaurant or you're on vacation, you meet up with your Italian friends <laughs> in a restaurant, you order pasta, amazing, you order short pasta, don't add ketchup or mayo. Do not. Just don't. As a seasoning. That, that's like a really big, that's the only thing that I won't be, no, it's just a no, okay? I won't, how do you say like, um... So don't. Yeah, it's just a don't. You shouldn't do that, you should never do that, it doesn't taste good. Why would you do that? I don't get it. you've been eating it all the time. No, it's like, to me, it makes more sense to have pineapple on your pizza than and mayo pineapple. and ketchup on your pasta. It's just that something was that... cooked perfectly carbonara, then comes <laughs> mayo. <laughs> Where? What? They, they don't go together. Yeah, so no. mayo, mayo or ketchup on your pasta? No. Uh, in, it usually comes with the already sufficient sauce. Mm -hmm. You don't need mayo pasta, yeah. so leave that out. 
let, wait until you get out of Italy, then you do your mayo. Yeah, pasta yeah, of course. Somewhere else. Of course. Outside of Italy, you can put anything you want on your pasta, but here it's like it's good as it is. No? Yes, yes. You yes. don't need extra mayo. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to yeah. Italian liquor, I love, I love me some amaro. Sometimes I even buy a bottle of limoncello, for example, and take that to, to Germany. Yep. But one thing I have learned, mm -hmm. that is a digestive where you only drink it after you've eaten your meal. It's True. not before, no. or it's not while you're eating. No. no, no. And usually, it's also don't put it in this huge glass. It's no. like, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, you have like shot glasses for that. And as the name says, it's like digestive. So it's a supposed to help your digestion so you have it after your meal not during your meal or before your meal yep would it make sense here at least i don't know if you digestivo which is like amaro which is uh limoncello, limoncello only after your meal yeah Ooh. now let me tell you a yeah. story a very nice one one time we invited our German friends to come visit, very close friends, and Ale had spent the whole day making homemade pasta and made pasta with fish, gongole, and then also made pasta with pesto, different kinds of pasta. Wow! So there was like different it? kinds of pasta, mm -hmm. then there was parmigiano on the table, and this friend of ours just took ah. pasta with gongole <laughs> and parmigiano! And Ale was, uh, you know what? I, you know what? Ale just stood up and went to the kitchen. So no. I knew, like, oh, okay, I have to check no, on Ale. I jumped on him. You forgot. No, really? I jumped on him and I said, no, no, don't do it. <laughs> you don't do that. I Parmigiano on, on spaghetti with and, and I remember you also say, if you were in my mother's house, we would have chased <laughs> you. would have chased you. I don't know. She would have hit you. <laughs> or just say, love you right away. So I know no like parmesan on, on pasta with gongole or any like fish pasta is a no. There are I know like if there's any Italian watching this, they may say that some chefs mm -hmm. have improved. I mean, have changed the, the recipe, and sometimes they use some kind of cheese on top of some pasta with fish. But for example. Yeah, 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 but that's not a pasta. It's not ever in a pasta. It's just mm, cozze yeah, it's own. just cozze actually. Yeah. So no. it's a no. No, you, you don't. It just they don't really go together. So we just eat it as it is, without any parmesan on top. I would just say if you go to a trattoria, which is like yeah. a classical Italian restaurant, mm -hmm. don't do such things because the owners are usually they also checking if you're enjoying the food. That's true. They will be very offended. They'll be they'll be confused at least. Yeah. They'll be offended because usually they come to you and they also show you how to eat stuff. That's true. Check Sometimes they tell you like put this on very the... well. Yeah. So yeah. they'll be like. That's true. Why did you? What are you doing, <laughs> are you doing yeah, with yeah. my pasta? So this is something I know. So yeah. at least when they come to me and say no, no parmesan. No. no. If there's fish, no parmesan. No parmesan. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Italian love wine, but specifically when it comes to dinner, they say dine with wine. Water? What do they say? <laughs> <laughs> it rusts like your stomach and it, it my grandma says it destroys the bridges and I always go grandma I'm not a bridge I'm a person it's not gonna hurt me she's like no just drink wine don't drink too much water I know it's that's like, weird because two days ago we went to a restaurant and we ordered a bottle of water which is typical in Italy but most of that doesn't really people don't drink that they drink more wine and just a little bit of that that's true. and then the owner came to us and say no guys water is bad for you just drink wine <laughs> After that, if, if it's too hot again, it's not a reason to drink water. Put on maybe a vest and go in the air and let just the wind cool yep. you down. Yep, that's true. That's very true. We do that, and we tend to when we go out for dinner, we tend to pretty much always. Have, I'm not a huge wine drinker, but when we go out for dinner, we usually always have at least like one bottle of wine, even for yeah. just four yes. people. Yes, yes. Yep. You don't go there and sit and have a meal and you just say water, please. No. Yeah. No. We also we also have water because. Yeah, yeah, there's a side like addition people. to that. Yeah, you have both. Mm -hmm. Tell the story about my father with the wine on his finger. Yes, <laughs> and if you are dining with my parents-in-law, wine, yeah, being the most amazing drink and <laughs> hydrating thing, every time you put your glass down, it's just pouring, yep. pouring, yep. pouring. That's true. That's true. We don't want to see any empty glass yeah, on no. the table. No, it's just like, and if you don't want to drink so much, just don't drink at all. Exactly. Because the moment you sip, it's like, yeah. 
Io io sono qui. Ancora. <ride> Ancora. Un altro. Ragazzo, <ride> mamma mia, perché? Vi non buono. It's good for you. It's good for you. you actually they kind of take it like it's all it's more like the way other people think of drinking water. They kind of like what is why this good for you? You have to drink more. Of it. <laughs> All right. Very, very last point we want to talk about, which is also something I have experienced, and we were on vacation in Puglia, and that is about mm -hmm. maybe after we've been together for five years, okay. and we're in a very nice place having, like a small place having just lunch, and then tourists walk in, like an American couple, and they're like, we would like to have a hot dog. In where? In, in, in it was like we a small restaurant in, in Matera, like yeah, yeah, in, a, in, in a small Lama. restaurant, like a in a re they walked in, in a restaurant. Yes, and, and they, they, asked, they asked for hot dogs. I mean, but I have to know hot dogs. Good yeah. luck if you find. Okay, then after they say that, then the guy said nothing. A burger. Um, yeah, in a restaurant. No, I, that is a no. Uh, no. <laughs> You want I mean, you will find them. You just here, I think the small stuff that you find, even in a small bar, it's like uh, maybe small pizzas, like this pizza stuff. But to be honest, I know that in my country, in most restaurants, you still find the full cassette with the uh, French fries. Yeah. Okay, so you do find hamburgers in certain restaurants which are like specific and they do meat. Like in Rome, there are some places that just do meat yeah, but you can like find new, hamburgers. Yes, but, but like a in a regular restaurant, restaurant you, you don't really go there to buy a hamburger because it's not like to order a hamburger with Thomas. No, just first of all, you, you may not find them, and second, even if you do, it's not like a, a specialty of the it's not an Italian, you know, top dish. Yeah, people would just think, like, eh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you just. Like, I, I probably, probably have never even heard the word hot dog. Was like, no, eh? no. You can ask for a steak if you want. Yes, if you feel like if having you want meat. to have meat and pane anyway. Pane comes to you already. Yeah. Make your burger yeah, on the exactly. table. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> no, don't do that. No, no, no. But at least you have pane. No, the burger is going to form in the stove. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. The you just going don't to have form meat, which is. Which is by chance is way better than just asking for a hamburger, which is not yeah. going to be that great. But I know, so, like I say, saying that for you. in my country, you also have most of the restaurant have also a burger on their menu. Okay. To be honest, like you can always, like you know, this big ones with pile yeah, pile yeah, yeah. that comes many, with many fork, things. whatever. We don't have in. those. Yeah, yeah. We don't so have, we have those. That, if we do, there are just like French specific fry places. on the side. No. So guys, that was it from us today. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have. Okay, you can still hear music in the background because we are on top of a bar. It's beautiful and we're just sipping on Aperol Spritz. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel and most important guys, always leave a comment in the section below. And again, don't forget to go check out Rome Inside for all your tips about Rome. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Bye. See you in our next video. Ask you, what do you prefer between uh, cannolo siciliano and sfogliatella? Ooh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. That's true. But I, I would just say, if I'm in Sicily, I will go for cannolo. But when I'm here, like in Rome, I will go for sfogliatella because I feel like when you have been to Sicily, the cannolo here never, ever, ever tastes like what you've tasted there. Yes. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. Italian tastes way better in the English than here. Mm -hmm. Like I say, you're so Italian. Now I'm gonna. She doesn't put my on the. Cheers. <laughs> uh, were you recording that? Of course. No! <laughs> My goodness, okay, I hope.